Hi beautiful people, welcome back. So I'm Taylor Pesevsky, if you're a new subscriber here, welcome. So I'm just going to do a client tutorial for you guys. I do my makeup in a lot of tutorials so I wanted to change it up a bit and do a client. So here's Natalie Brown, she's my model here today. Go subscribe to her channel, she has the most amazing videos as well. So let's just jump straight into it. So we're going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow just to fill in her eyebrows today. She has a lovely shape so she didn't really need much. Then to prep the eyes, I put MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and set it with the Ben Nye Translucent Powder. Then grabbing sticky tape to make that wing effect on the side of her eyes. Then grabbing Sandwood and Henna in the Rose Gold Texture Palette and popping that in her crease. So I'm really just focusing on the crease part and the outer ends just to now pack on that colour. So I've been training by the Plows Academy and this is a great tip. It's like a sandwich. So your eyes are layers. So you're adding layers and that's one of the best tips I would suggest. And just because we're making this a cut crease look, make sure you don't forget to bring that colour in towards her nose and T-ducts area. Just because when we cut it, you'll be able to see that really beautiful cut crease. When using black colours, I suggest not going into the black colour first. I usually use black colour last just because it's so much harder to take away the black. So I made sure to blend that black with the henna colour as well. And my, dis my just greatest tip is just to add blacks in little, little amounts. Trouble, baby, and I can't break away. I thought that I could keep it low. Take it easy, take it slow. We ended up just like 
So now just using MAC 3D Glitter and Ben Nye Liquid Set to pop the glitter. So if I were to actually change anything about her makeup, I'm not saying it was perfect. I think I would have used a smaller brush to apply the glitter so the glitter isn't a big chunk. But if she likes a lot of glitter, then you can use a more of a medium sized brush. But yes, I would have changed the brush I probably used. I probably used maybe like a liquid liner brush or something. But yeah, um, the liquid set is amazing. It's not lash glue. It's legit like, it feel, uh, the texture is like water, but it dries and the glitter does not move. So now using an eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Eyeliner in Matte. Absolutely love this eyeliner. It's absolutely amazing. It dries matte and it doesn't crumble or flake. Natalie is wearing my lash style in Marry Me. This is one of my top sellers and I absolutely love this. So you can use the code YouTube10 for 10% off. So using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in two colours just to match her fake tan. I used the shade Tawny and Cashew and mixed them together. And I made sure to prime my skin with the MAC Moisturiser. And I'm using a damp beauty blender to apply her foundation. So I don't really have a technique with foundation. But my, my tip would be to apply it in really small amounts. Just because you don't want to chuck it too much on. And then you're like, crap, now I need to take it off. And it's just, when you set it with powder, then it looks way too powdery. And that's what gives the effect of a cakey, cakey face, I would suggest. So I just use different techniques. I use wiping techniques just to apply the foundation and dabbing te technique. Then using Kat Von D concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. It's just, I haven't tried shade tape, I wish I did. But this concealer for me, hands down, is one of the best concealers I've ever tried. So now using Artist Couture to highlight her skin. This highlight in Illuminati is my hands down my most favorite highlight in the world. It's just so amazing. Like you actually get that glow. I wish they made a more pressed version though. Then grabbing Kudo Beauty in bombshell and popping that on her lips. So I want to just do something different and show you guys. Yeah, I do hair too, and not many people know that, but yeah, I do hair. I really enjoy doing hair too. So I decided to do not a vintage curl, but I just wanted to curl her hair and give it some volume. So something different, I just wanted to show you as a client what you're expecting to look before and after. So using Natalie Ann Hair Care, I absolutely love her texture powder in T1 and T2, I'm pretty sure it is. And it just really, it's, it's not like a dry shampoo, but it's like a texture powder. So it adds texture to her hair and gives it that really nice volume.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I absolutely enjoyed it as well. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next. She's Know The Drill. But make sure you head to Natalie Brown's Instagram and her YouTube channel too. She posts the most amazing looks and she's been featured on Mecca and yeah, she's absolutely amazing. So go to her channel and subscribe. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. Mwah.